Hi there, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to memorize things and how to go about learning a new task in a more effective and efficient way. Actually, it's gonna be up to three times more effective if you do it the way the author is explaining in today's feature video. and welcome to the Bookster's Club where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. Today's featured book is The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle and today's inspirational thought comes to us on page number 18 it says. Deep practice is built on a paradox. Struggling in certain targeted ways, operating at the edge of your ability where you make mistakes makes you smarter. Or to put it a slightly different way, experiences where you're forced to slow down, make errors, and correct them as you would if you were walking up an icy covered hill, slipping and stumbling as you go, end up making you swift and graceful without your realizing it. Deep practice is built on the idea that you internalize things easier when you find a little bit of resistance when learning new things and trying a new skill. There's actually a test inside of the book that I wanted to try with you here now together. So I'm going to put a series of words on the screen. Try to memorize as many as you can and don't worry if you can't get through all of them. Now I'll put a second series of words on the screen. Try to memorize those and again, don't worry if you can't get through all of them. Now, pause the video and try to write down as many words as you can recall. And it doesn't matter if it was from the first series of words or the second series of words. Just recall as many words as possible. So here are the words again. Did you recall more of the words from group B than you did from group A? This is because your brain had to struggle just a tiny bit in order to memorize it. In fact, inside the book, there are some studies and it showed that you'll memorize things three times as more this way. If you are trying to memorize something for a test or if you're learning a new skill and it's just not sinking in, going about it this way is actually helping you to absorb the information. It actually helps your brain process the information in the way that the brain was designed to input information. In fact, Robert Bjork said that we tend to think of our memory as a tape recorder, but that's wrong. It's a living structure, a scaffold of nearly infinite size. And the more we generate impulses encountering and overcoming difficulties, the more scaffolding we build. The more scaffolding we build, the faster we learn. So if we can go about looking at our minds in a way that it's an actual living structure and that this is the way it responds to new information and obtains it better, then we're gonna be able to recognize that when you are struggling with something, not only is that a good thing, but you're retaining the information better. And then also, if you're just kind of reading something through and you know it's just like want, 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 you know, nothing is gonna sink in. So you're just wasting your time. If you can go about it this way, you're gonna cut your time in half by looking at it and saying, okay, now I'm actually absorbing the information by giving myself just a little bit of resistance. If this tip helped you in any way to recall information for that test or to learn that new task, I would love to hear about that in the comments. Um, if there was a different uh, take that you had on this part of the book, a different part in this book or a different book entirely that you think should be featured here on the Bookstores Club, I would love to hear about that in the comments. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you liked the video and found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you're new because I post new videos just like this one every single day. See you tomorrow, Booksters.
going about memorize something new, memorizing something new. Hi there, and nope. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about new. Or even when you're trying to um, uh, not just learn something new, but, but acquire a new skill, acquire a new skill. And you're trying to do it, like memorize what you need to say. 